contacte le Marathon des mots en ligne, uh, which is the Marathon Online, the Marathon of the Words, is there one word, one single word that resumes for you today the situation in the world? Okay. Uh, congratulations for your Italian, because it's perfect. You have a perfect pronoun, so congratulations again. Thank you. So, if I, if I have to choose just one word to resume our, our days, our strange days, probably I, I would choose a demolition. Um, but I, I'm not saying demolition or economy or demolition of our government. I mean demolition of um, our beliefs, demolition of our um, superstructure. Uh, mm, in normal life, prob probably we were chasing uh, goals that uh, were empty. Uh, so now it may be different. Um, for example, I caught on that I should take better care of myself. So again, uh, I, I choose demolition, but demolition of, of ourselves. Now, in your novel, which is called De Rien, uh, Ni de Personne, at, uh, published by Rivage, your hero loves mythology. Why are stories so important, whether it's to protect him or us from our fears? I mean, when, when I talk about mythology, uh, I can't help uh, thinking about psychology because they, because ancient Greeks, uh, they invented psychology, but uh, they didn't notice it. Uh, why? Because all mythology stories uh, talk about the man. And uh, even today, they, they have uh, a strange and uh, uh, a meaning for, for us. So, um, mm, the protagonist of the Rieni de Person um, loves uh, stories of mythology uh, because he finds in them uh, the, the answer to his question. And uh, he is uh, um, also attracted by them because they, they were very strong. So mythological heroes were very strong and they fight uh, a daily war just like him. So, so he, he would uh, learn from, there, from them to be, to be strong. So that's the why he loves uh, uh, mythological heroes. Now, Rosario, he lives in Palermo, with, in the neighborhood called Brancaccio, which is dangerous at night. How does this neighborhood, how does this city influence the lives of the inhabitants? So, Brancaccio is a, a very difficult suburb. Uh, I grew up there, I was born there, and I, I know it well. And, um, you, you should imagine it like uh, a banlieue uh, in Paris. So there are uh, very old and crumbling buildings. Uh, there are, um, there are um, you know, uh, violence, uh, drugs. Uh, so uh, there is not any school, any theater, any library. So people who grow grow there, uh, they mm, they they haven't any chance. So they are different, and and, and it and it's uh, what happened to to the protagonist of the Rieni de Person. He comes from Brancaccio. He tries to liberate him uh, from the suburbs, but uh, he can't do it. Because when he try uh, to to go in another school in the center of the city, uh, all people uh, don't want to talk with him, and all people avoid him due to he come he comes from a, a, a difficult suburb. 
Now your protagonist, your hero, is always torn between his mother and his father, between home, between football and school, as you were describing, because he feels himself like a piece of dry bread among oysters. Why is it so difficult for him to find his place in this world? But I, I think the reason is due to the suburb again. Um, I remember uh, a, a beautiful scene of the eight, the, the movie of Matthew, Matthew Kessowitz, set in Le Ballier de Paris. Um, the, the characters um, once uh, went out to the center of Paris, uh, but no one wanted to talk with them because uh, um, that people who come from uh, a suburb, uh, they, they have uh, like a pedigree, uh, some kind of tattoo. So people don't want to talk with them. So uh, Rosario, the protagonist of uh, the Rieni de Person, try to, tries to uh, um, find a space uh, in, um, in football and uh, in school. But again, it's very difficult. So may, probably we, we, our society is uh, very racist with uh, poor people. And maybe uh, our governments should uh, uh, spend money uh, in the suburbs and not just in the center of the city. But everyone says it and no one's do it. Now, at the age of 15, Rosario is not a child anymore, but he's not an adult yet. What does it mean growing up and becoming a man, whether it's for him or for you? But when people talk about my novel, uh, they use uh, Buildings Roman, which is a novel uh, whose protagonist is uh, an adolescent. Uh, a young uh, teenager at the beginning of the story. And he becomes a man at the end of the story. Uh, uh, I disagree with this definition because uh, I think uh, each good novel, in, in each good novel, the protagonist at the end of the, of the story, he, he must grow up uh, beyond the fact that he is a teenager or an adult. In my opinion, um, uh, to grow up and become uh, adult means uh, to take care, uh, take care about uh, uh, other people, not just our ourselves. And uh, mm, that's what happened to Rosario in the Rieni de Person, because uh, at the end of the story, at the end of the novel, he, he takes care uh, of. Uh, uh, of uh, her mother. Uh, so um, I, I, I think, uh, again, if you, um, you become adult when you learn to take care about other people. Thank you so much, Daria Levantina, for this beautiful testimony. Take care and arrivederci. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Ciao.